Hello and welcome to our 12th video in the series on automotive sensors. In this series, we will explain the function and working of each automotive sensor in detail. Today we're going to dive deep into the world of boost pressure sensors, a very important component of turbocharged engines. We'll explore what they are, how they work, and why they are crucial for your vehicle's performance. See description for links to the playlist. Let's get started. First, let's understand what a boost pressure sensor is. In simple terms, this sensor measures the amount of boost pressure produced by the turbocharger or supercharger in your engine. Boost pressure is essentially the extra air pressure that helps the engine produce more power. Now why is this sensor important? The boost pressure sensor plays a crucial role in ensuring your engine runs efficiently. It helps the engine control unit, or ECU, adjust the air-fuel mixture for optimal combustion. This means better performance, improved fuel economy, and reduced emissions. In short, it helps your engine run smoothly and effectively. Let's break down how the boost pressure sensor works, step by step. In a turbocharged or supercharged engine, air is drawn into the intake manifold. The turbocharger or supercharger compresses this incoming air, increasing its density and pressure. This extra air allows the engine to burn more fuel, generating more power. The boost pressure sensor is usually located in the intake manifold or near the turbocharger. Inside the sensor, there's a sensing element that reacts to the air pressure in the manifold. This element can be a piezoelectric material or a strain gauge that changes resistance based on the pressure exerted on it. As the pressure changes, the sensing element generates an electrical signal that varies in voltage or resistance depending on the boost pressure. The sensor is calibrated to convert these physical changes into a specific electrical signal range, usually measured in volts or millivolts. The boost pressure sensor sends this electrical signal to the engine control unit, ECU. The signal informs the ECU of the current boost pressure level. This transmission happens continuously, allowing the ECU to monitor boost pressure in real time. The ECU interprets the incoming signal and compares it with predefined parameters for optimal engine performance. Based on the boost pressure data, the ECU adjusts the fuel injection timing and quantity. More boost pressure typically means more fuel needs to be injected to maintain the correct air-fuel ratio. The ECU uses the boost pressure information to optimize engine performance. This includes enhancing throttle response, increasing power output, and improving fuel efficiency. If the boost pressure exceeds safe levels, the ECU can take protective measures, such as reducing fuel supply or adjusting timing to prevent engine knock or damage. The boost pressure sensor continuously monitors the boost pressure and provides feedback to the ECU throughout the engine's operation. If there are fluctuations in pressure due to changing driving conditions, the ECU makes real-time adjustments to ensure optimal engine performance. In summary, the boost pressure sensor plays a critical role in modern turbocharged and supercharged engines by measuring boost pressure and helping the ECU optimize engine performance. Understanding this process can help you appreciate how your vehicle's performance is enhanced through careful management of air and fuel. So how do you know if your boost pressure sensor is failing? Here are some signs to watch for. If your car feels sluggish or has reduced power. If the check engine light comes on. If you notice your fuel efficiency dropping significantly. Unusual engine noise such as knocking or pinging during acceleration. If you suspect your boost pressure sensor is faulty, you can test it yourself. Here's how. You will need a multimeter, a vacuum pump, and your vehicle's service manual to find the boost pressure sensor on your engine. Refer to your service manual for the exact location. Use the multimeter to check the sensor's voltage. It should match the specifications in your manual. Connect the vacuum pump to the sensor and apply pressure. The voltage should change according to the pressure applied. If the readings don't match, your sensor might be faulty and should be replaced. That's how a boost pressure sensor works in simple terms. In the next video, we'll be diving into the intercooler temperature sensors. Click the link in the description to watch the full playlist on automotive sensors and continue learning more about your car. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more automotive tutorials. Thank you for watching and drive safely.